increasingly artists are involved in their cities, not just putting art in museums and in galleries. Um, and I have organized a number of exhibitions, not just in museums and galleries, but also um, in the public realm itself. So there are, of course, many permanent commissions around uh, every city. Um, great Calder work permanently in various uh, locations, but the work that I've done has basically been temporary. Um, as a kind of extension of exhibition space from museums to out of doors, idea of kind of a museum or gallery without walls. Very briefly, London. This is work by Cindy Sherman, the photographer. The platform for art in the London Underground realized at a certain point that 3.5 million journeys every day on the tube, and by 2020, there, there will be 4 million journeys per day. Certain platforms are disused. This one happens to be disused. The train doesn't go right there. But these arches become completely viable spaces for art. Um, rather than advertising. Cindy Sherman, she'd never done outdoor work before. We asked her, we approached her and said, you know, would this be interesting to you? I was working on this exhibition with her in the museum. And um, she said, yeah, I'd actually be really interested in putting some of my women there, um, kind of for people to pass by and to see. Union Station has gone through an incredible renovation. This aquarium, which was intended to replicate LA River's um, freshwater environment, and etched onto the glass, you can see a little bit of the etching here in the front, are faces of some of the um, Indian and Latino um, settlers, um, as well as references to indigenous fish. This part in collaboration with an artist called Richard Wyatt, um, the mural is um, also looking at the kind of origins of LA. So the idea in, of these three, um, kind of the fish tank and the, the Chinese crockery, as well as um, this is really to kind of look at what was there underneath this site to begin with.